I really want to make hello and howdy work. Howdy. Howdy zombies. Welcome back to the ghost hunting series where we look for paranormal activity, but we may not find any. We don't fake anything. And we aim to really answer the question of whether or not you would have a spooky experience if you were to come visit these places yourself. I know you all want to be spooked, but here we believe that the real thing is more entertaining than staged entertainment. If we do come across the unthinkable, it will be that much scarier knowing it's 100% real. My name is Mikey, but spelled funny, M-Y-K-I-E. And I'm a skeptic, but I am also jumpy as hell. So I promise you that even if we don't find a ghost, we'll still have lots of fun. This is my boyfriend, Evan. Ev <laughs> What's my name? I don't know. Your name's not important, you're just, you're pretty. True. Hi, my name is Pretty. It's yours. It's Anthony Padilla. I had sugar, so I'm a little bit hyper right now. You had ice cream in a tub It was this big. It's literally, that was this big. <laughs> I'm a sugar-free gal. You give me this much sugar and my brain goes If you couldn't tell by my beautiful accent and my beautiful boots, we're in Texas at the Hotel Lawrence. I'm gonna call it the Hotel Lawrence. Technically, it's not called that anymore. It's a La Quinta. La Quinta. La Quinta. I know, that I took eight years of Spanish. <sighs> What'd you do in those Ocho eight years? años. Technically, it's a La Quinta Inn and Suites. It's been rebranded as like a, you know, kind of like basic bitch hotel. But I can tell this place used to be very cute. Our guest Anthony here doesn't know anything about the hotel. I am excited to find out what kind of hauntings and frights I will be experiencing tonight. Hopefully a lot. Here's a little history for you. Speed round. I want to get to the fun stuff. The hotel opened in October 1925 as the Scott Hotel, but it was later renamed the Hotel Lawrence in the 1930s. Then it changed its name a few more times. They called it the Bradford at one point in 1981 and the Paramount, and then it was redubbed Hotel Lawrence again in 2001 until La Quinta Inn and Suites bought it. And now its full official name is, and I quote, La Quinta Inn and Suites by Wyndham Dallas Downtown. That just rolls off the tongue. And it's been called that since 2013. It has 118 rooms and it is located a adjacent to the historic West End and Union Station. In 1970, it was considered derelict and the city even thought about turning it into a minimum security jail. This place does have jailhouse vibes a little bit. Oh, this definitely works. Put some bars over the windows. I mean, these rooms are pretty tiny. You know, they kind of feel like little jail cells. And if that's the case, that makes you my cellmate, my ghost mate. That was the name of a movie. I, I know, that, that, was that was the joke. That was the joke? Yeah. Oh. It is a three minute walk from the very famous Dealey Plaza, which if you don't know is where JFK got assassinated. I didn't know that when I booked this hotel. This has quite a history all on its own, but the fact that I, we can literally see the spot where he got shot from our window right now, pretty weird. And we can see the school book depository where Harvey Lee Oswald was in the window. So they say, this is now a conspiracy video. I have theories. It is very eerie, I think, to be right here. And like you were saying earlier, there are a lot of places in the world where there's a turning point in history. You might come across these places often and never know them, but the fact that we know that one place where history completely changed forever was right there. Yeah. So specific, in fact, that you will see people jumping into the middle of the street to get a picture in the exact spot where JFK was shot. Very influencers in the wild. I know that there's like a fine line between like what we're doing here and what they're doing out there, so I won't criticize too heavily, but it, it is very interesting. The spooky things. The things of walking the sweets. Are you talking to your You got to, to make them grow. Oh. There are three notorious ghosts in this hotel. The first one is known as the gambler. There's a man ghost who roams the hallways and is dressed like a dapper gentleman from the time period. And by the time period, I mean the time period in which the second floor of this hotel used to be an illegal casino. Legend has it that he's maybe wandering the hallways to recoup some of his lost money because that's a good reason to haunt a place, I guess. And the only way to do that is to kill people. Everyone's bottom line is money even the ghosts. The second infamous ghost here is a woman who supposedly either fell, was pushed, or jumped to her death from the 10th floor. Guess what floor we're staying on? The 9th, no. We're on the 10th floor. We're on the 10th floor. And then the last notorious ghost is the ghost of a one Mr. Jack Smiley Jackson. Which means if you take out his nickname Smiley, his name is just Jack Jackson. What a name, it's kind of badass. This man haunts the 10th floor specifically room 1009 where he was murdered. Oh God, there was a murder that happened in this room. Guess what room we're staying in? Did I hate you? No. Okay. 
actually bad news for you. What? Does uh, he kill men? No, but he does hold the door shut. He holds the door shut yeah. when you're like, what, you're trying to pee and he won't let you out or? Apparently he holds the door shut. So you can't leave. Or maybe you can't enter. And he doesn't move out of the way until you politely ask him to move or you address him by name like, yo, move over, smiley. Or so I bred. <laughs> but that's not the bad news. The bad news is that there's been more than one murder in this room. What? How does that happen? <laughs> All in one day? No, separate, which is probably weirder. That's right? way weirder. weirder. I'm just really hoping that there's not like a third time's a charm situation. Supposedly, there's a man named Mr. Brookshire who was also murdered in room 1009. Mr. Brookshire was supposedly found with his throat slit. A guest reported feeling like a towel was wrapped around their neck and being pulled tight. Similar, but different. Ghost logic doesn't always add up. No. Once you're dead, logic's the first thing to go. But how long after Smiley? I don't know. See, here's the, here's the thing about all of these things. They're all unconfirmed. We couldn't find hard evidence of these people's names, their deaths, so keep that in mind. Is there a possibility that the people that bought this place created a bunch of rumors to get a bunch of unsuspecting ghost hunters to come out and stay in this room so they could reap all the benefits without having any factual evidence of any of these things actually occurring? You think the person who owns the hotel chain La Quinta Inn and Suites needed to drive traffic to their hotel by making up ghost stories? True. I believe that's Wyndham. Wyndham, 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 Wyndham. There's also lore that an early 20th century congressman who stayed at this hotel jumped to his death from the 10th floor as well. Also unconfirmed. You'd think if it was a congressman, we'd have a name, we'd have articles, but it was in the early 20th century, so. So there's four deaths here. Okay, so the woman who jumped to her death or fell or was pushed from the 10th floor who haunts this place now, that was supposedly in the 1940s, according to one source. I don't know anything about the timeline of the other ones. So we flew all the way out here. Yeah. To stay in this hotel room because yeah. some people on the internet said some things and there's no confirmation of any said facts or sources. Welcome to ghost hunting. If there's even a chance that we are truly staying in the 10 by 7 foot square where two different people were murdered, that's very eerie. This would make this the most violent room we've ever actually stayed in, if mm. true. I'm hyped for the ghosts because we got confirmation this morning that we were in fact going to get room 1009, which I've been bugging them about for like two weeks just to make sure <laughs> they left it open for us. The guy at the front desk stressed to me, since this was a specifically requested room, that if something happens, we're not gonna be able to switch rooms later tonight. Did he give any more details? I looked at him and I said, what do you mean if something happens? And he said, I'm just saying, you know, if something happens, that's the room you're stuck in. And then when I walked away from him, he was like, I hope you have a good night in there. I hope we have a good night in here too. It's recording. But first, let me tell you about a recent obsession of mine. Murder by Choice. Oh. Murder by Choice is a murder mystery set on a tropical island in modern times. You play as Carla Page, a young journalist who arrives at the island at a very bad time. As a storm sets in and a moida occurs. It's a fully interactive adventure where you shape how the story unfolds by making choices. Meaning, every player has a unique experience. It has plot twists, comics, over 30 minigames, 50 locations, a variety of interesting characters to interview, and hidden object schemes all within this emotional roller coaster of an investigation. You know, for a murder mystery, this game is surprisingly relaxing. And I got very, very easily sucked into it. Exhibit A. The plot had me hooked. The illustrations are beautiful, and I was rooting for my girl, Mrs. Bird. She's a little sus, though. The game is free and available for iOS and Android, so click the link in my description box or use the QR code here to download Murder by Choice straight to your phone now. This case is closed for now. Back to the paranormal investigation. Uh, everything seems to be going okay. Oh, okay. So if you have any questions or something, please let me know, please, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> is, is she used to th people having issues in this room? Get out of here. I wish you would ask her that. They're either hyping it up very well or they're actually concerned about us. Or they do that to everyone. Or they right? do that at with, like two, three hours at anybody's that. That's some high quality service there. It is I've a stayed weird. at some nice hotels. They've never done that before. It's a little weird that they're willing to do that, but not straighten the painting on the wall. 
<laughs> I want to know what's going on. That's at the school book depository. Suppository. Suppository. My bad. This guy's running. I bet it's him. I bet it's him. They're, he's running from the police. It is, in fact, a runner. Oh, my he's God. He's looking behind him like he's guilty. Report of man stabbed. <gasps> Police are responding to an unconfirmed report of a man who st was stabbed by a woman. By a woman? Yeah, not to get all gendery, but yeah. <laughs> Guests have been locked out of rooms. They experienced cold spots, cliche. We've heard it a million times. And they felt like they were being watched by unseen eyes. We were just talking about this this About week. the energy that you could pick up yeah. on when someone's looking at like you. Like there's something psychologically where if you're in a room, you, f you can tell someone's staring at you. Well, apparently that's also true for ghosts. You can also tell when a ghost is looking um. at you, so. Staff have reported calls coming from empty rooms and cleaning staff have had their cleaning materials mysteriously disappear. In the dead of night in the lobby, you can hear high heels walking across the floor. Mm, spooky. In the basement, laundry carts have been known to be pushed by unseen hands and doors have been witnessed opening and closing by themselves. So this place is a big door place. Opening, closing, not opening, not closing. People report hearing voices in their rooms with them that are not the voices of people in the rooms with them. That's Fates. A guest reported that he was staying on the 10th floor and he was looking out one of the 10th floor windows. All of a sudden, he woke up like face up looking at a, at the ceiling in a corner between like the bedside table and the wall. Like n not an easy place to like have fallen into. He wasn't drunk, he wasn't tired. He just like woke up in the corner and I guess he doesn't know how he got there. Most occurrences in this place are known to happen between midnight and 6 a.m. So who's not sleeping tonight? We're not sleeping tonight. Ooh, ooh. I am not prepared ooh, ooh. for what Mikey will become without any sleep. <laughs> Apparently a lot of skeptics come to visit this place and nothing ever happens during the day. It only ever happens at night. Felicia, a former guest, said that when she was in here, she sat in a chair to read in her room and it felt like every time she looked down at the page, she heard words that didn't appear in text as if someone was reading something else in her ear while she was reading her book. Oh, like her thoughts? Like there's a mother fluffing ghost in her ear going, but telling her a story. What? I brought a book. We can test it. Okay. I read. Then Felicia claims that after she tried to go to bed, she woke up in her sleep and she saw a shadowy figure moving around the room, hiding behind furniture. The moment it seemed as far away as it could go, I leapt out of that bed and ran straight to hotel security. Maybe that's why the guy at the front desk said, if we mm -hmm. want to change rooms, it ain't happening. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because of Felicia. Yeah, that's everything. Now we wait for night. And night. Do it with me. And night. Two things that really creep me out about this room. These heat lamps over here that only produce white light. The ambiance is totally off. And the ambiance sucks. And they look like heat lamps. They look like a buffet of french fries should be served underneath them. And the scary part is that it makes you want it and you can't get it and that desire is never fulfilled. The second thing is the quote on the wall. It's a Texas thing, y'all. The capitalization choices feel off. Something feels, something just doesn't feel right about a lowercase i at the beginning of the sentence, a t in Texas, which is always uppercase, and you got the y in y'all, which has way too much emphasis drawn to it with a capital Y. He told me there were things about this room that creeped him out and I was like, oh my God, wait, save it for when we're rolling. And it was, it was that? It was to tell me those things? Creepiness is subjective. <laughs> No, nothing actually creepy. Well, okay, I do have something actually creepy. The vent here looks like someone's been tampering with it. It looks like fingerprints or something has been, is there uh, like someone was trying to open it up. Something about that just feels like someone this? was Wait, trying to get it. This, these, these little marks right the here? The smudges, it kind of looks like someone was trying to get in, does it not? I don't know, I kind of feel like anytime you're ghost hunting with me, you're inspecting the ceilings of the hotel room where That's that. I mean, that's the least, that's the place that people are expected to look least, and it's probably the place with the most evidence in plain sight. Just like mold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fingerprints, it's just mold. It's not blood. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind sleeping under mold blowing directly at us all night. That'll be fine. It's not blood. Can you make it straight? <laughs> what if they fall off the wall? You can't make it straight. <laughs> Why not? What? The, it's moving a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you moving the whoa. bottom one? Whoa. Wait, let, push that one down and see what it- Take them off the wall. We're redecorating. It's getting spooky. Someone's definitely listening to this in another room right now and thinking that there is- Okay. A ghost. So it works well when it's by itself. 
That looks like a million bucks. The feng shui is on point. Thanks, I hate it. Don't you don't even think about it. I'm not. He loves to hang from shit. That looks better, Peter. It's not straight still, but it's definitely better. We are currently waiting for Spooky Pizza to arrive. We're also waiting for Spooky anything. Nothing so far. <gasps> Did you hear that? A person distantly talking. No, I heard a knock. I did. I didn't hear a knock. Did you didn't hear it? Might have been me sitting back. Do it again. Sit back. Yeah, it was you. Damn. My child's potato. My child's potato. My child's potato. <laughs> to be fair, we haven't asked the ghost anything. Yet. No. Peter's gone rogue. He's he's doing his own thing today. We could go walk around the hotel right now, but one, there's probably still guests walking around and I don't want to shove a camera in their face. So I want to wait until it's like more dormant. And two, this is supposedly like the most haunted spot in the entire hotel, right here. If we were gonna see anything, it should be right here. This dance I like to call the I'm in my 30s and my knee cracks every time I bend it dance. <laughs> but how long is your knee been cracking when you do that? You should look in that vent. It's screwed shut. Get it, Peter. It's not with a Peter, get it. Phillips or flathead. Let's open the vent. Do you think someone stuck their head up there while someone closed the grate? I think someone was jumping on the bed and they bonked their head on that thing and now they're dead. Oh, a ghost is having trouble autofocusing. This is um, concerning. That's definitely an old. Oh. Ew. I, or at least it looks like it. I hope someone out on the street right now is watching you do this. Hey, I'm not participating. I'm not an accessory. I'm just uh, an unwilling bystander. Cut back to me saying, Peter, do it. Oh, that is mold. That is mold. This thing's definitely got mold. <gasps> oh my God, that's like black mold. Oh my God, get away from me. Oh my God. You're right. That wasn't fingerprints. That was black mold. Y'all gonna have to get closer than that. I don't want to. No, don't touch it. It'll like release the spores. I, I genuinely don't think you're supposed to touch it. Oh my god, and that just blows on people all night. This is no longer a ghost hunting show. This is a this is a health and hospitality show. Yeah, this is like an expose, like a daily. Oh god. Help me, Howard. Yeah. Came for ghosts, left with black mold spores in our lungs. No wonder people feel like shit staying in this room. <laughs> we need Biggie clean up in here. It almost looks like someone else has done this. <laughs> <laughs> My back hurts here, and I know that when you get back pain up here, it means that it's your lungs. Does black mold take effect that quickly? I don't know for sure, but I'd say no. I gotta, I gotta Google stuff now. This is your black mold montage. <laughs> <laughs> Did you describe what you just heard? Wait. Aren't we on the top floor? Yeah. Those floors are carpeted. Always oh, oh, I'm getting chills. We're sitting on our beds. We're watching a very cute movie, like a rom com, <laughs> to get in the mood. And I heard like a knocking sound, like a singular knock. But then it started to happen more frequently, so we turned off the movie. And it literally sounds like someone's walking above <laughs> our room in high heels. It is like distinctive footsteps in heels we are on the top floor i'll demonstrate okay because i'm in my cowgirl boots let's hear it that's exactly the pacing too did it definitely come from above us it sounded like it did are they trying to tell us the witching hour has commenced it is time okay where was 
And if we hold the EMF reader up to the ceiling, it's definitely going off, but it's going off in the way that it normally does if it's picking up like an actual electrical current. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's too consistent to seem like it's actually anything. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There's got to be something yeah, up there that's electric. Yeah, there's something right there, yeah. Or it's a high-heeled ghost that's like hovering <laughs> over the ceiling. Is there a ghost in the room? It lit up. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, oh. oh. Are you a lady? Are you a man? <gasps> oh my god! Hey, Smiley. Is your name Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Both Jack, Smi Jack Smiley Jackson and Mr. Brookshire supposedly died in this room, were murdered. Were you murdered in this room? That was great. <laughs> Do you want us to capture your presence on camera? Okay. It's a pretty clear no. Yeah. Um, do you know where you are? Do you want to communicate with us? Well, that seems more like okay. a yes. Is there anything you want us to know? Yeah. Okay. Should we use the spirit box? Can you tell us through the spirit box? Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. my we God. Will do that then. Okay. okay. Um, please tell us whatever it is you'd like to tell us. Maybe we should be more specific. Are you still with us? All right, let me ask you a question. Okay, it's here. Um, can you tell us your name with the spirit box? It just sounds like it's within. Maybe we should try EVP. Can you hold that for yourself? Oh yeah. Oh, hello. This is some real ghost hunting shit. <gasps> I'm so scared. <laughs> Please. Sit down. We're sitting in the dark. Oh, ghostly presence. Are you still with us in the room? It's flickering. <gasps> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting it to actually flicker. Whoa, um, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. EVP session. Let's okay, EVP session. Hello. What is your name? Did you die here? <laughs> In this room? On this floor? Off this floor? You were really chilling here with us, huh? Yeah. Move it around, I want to see if it still does it. So literally right where we are. Put right there. Put it against your mic, your lock there. Okay, so it's not that. Nothing. Okay. It's like so specifically it's not, yeah, right it's not here. actually there. Am I touching you right now? Squeezing your little face. I'm like a dog with a with a car. <laughs> I don't know what to do now that I've got one. Do you want to run the spirit box again? Sure, we can try. Were you hurt here? Family every day. Family every day, it said? 
I just heard oh, every day. I heard oh. family every day. Okay. Does that mean that their family hurt them every day? Mm. It's possible. Did your family hurt you here? Can we pick up on that, what that said? Because when you picked up on something, this lit up. It says something. I mean, it's incredible. I think that this is a really good indication of what your brain will do. It's a Rorschach yeah. test. I can literally convince someone I think that that's a, they would kill me. It sounds like it says they will kill you. Mm. <gasps> oh my god, these walls are dead. That now it sounds like somebody killed me. Yeah. I hear extra syllables there that I didn't hear before. Somebody killed me. Somebody killed me. I... Okay. Your eyes got watery just now. Did they? Yeah. It's a black mold. It's a sensible black mold. <laughs> I'm feeling dizzy all of a sudden. Yep. What was that voice? I hear M. I hear hen. I hear hen or him. Hmm. Or M. It could be any of them. That sounds like rolling a cart. Oh, <gasps> they did say the carts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was him hitting the window. <laughs> she did say she was jumpy. <laughs> That's just the sound of a street cleaner. It's so weird how all of these sounds that people hear sound just like things that happen in big cities. <laughs> it's True. Crazy. Ghost, where are you? Oh, ghost. Okay. Do we actually just Bluetooth something to it? Fake it. Oh, so many people do that. It looks like you can connect it to a Bluetooth device, which makes me question if someone could just Bluetooth to it. Yeah. And get the sound to come out of it. Yeah. Although I guess it would say blue on it. Yeah. But. But if they're not showing it. But if, if they're not showing it, or they do it so they get the sound of it coming through here with and the Bluetooth, they and then they it. just switch it into something. Bluetooth <sighs> connection for use as a wireless speaker. How come I feel like that's literally on purpose so that people could cheat it if yeah. they want? Probably. Probably. I never knew it could do that. Mm-hmm. You're still with us, right? Yep. You seem very, clear. You seem yeah. very active. Okay. If there's anything you'd like to tell us, please do so. Wow, through the spirit box, okay. I don't know if I heard anything, but I feel like there might be something in there. There, was, there definitely sounded like there was some... I felt chills from something, but I don't know what from. Did you? Yeah. Where? When there was a that man's voice talking for like Really? Uh editor's note. <laughs> We're here. We're editing this video. Peter just put on headphones to try to figure out because it sounds like there's several things being said in a row through a few different voices. We didn't catch it at the time. Listen to this though. When we denoise it, I just he he put the headphones on me, told me to listen. Played it all the way through, and I screamed and threw the headphones off my ears. True story. Just, 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 just listen. There's been more than one murder in this room. Were you murdered in this room? Mr. Brookshire was found with his throat slit. Do you want to communicate with us? Can you tell us through the spirit box? I felt chills from something, but I don't know what from. Did you? Yeah, this activity almost completely stopped. Aside from this. Mm. Okay. 
I do want to see if we can get the door to stick because apparently Smiley holds the door shut and I want to get footage of the other floors and I want to interrogate the front desk person and then I want to go to bed. Go team! Look, they're not even trying to hide the fact this used to be an illegal casino. They're not even trying to hide it. We're on the second floor, by the way. Floor number two. Missing one ghost in a tuxedo. Found one girl in cowboy boots. Right, other leg, other arm, other arm. It's off on her, and she's very creepy. And this is right in front of our door. Yes. It's dark in there. Are you serious? Scary. <laughs> I thought you were a skeptic. He didn't, he didn't keep you, you from Smiley opening the door. Smiley did not stop me from he opening that door. In fact, he was like, He was totally cool. Having... I went up to them. It's at the front desk right now, it's 2 a.m. And I was like, hey. Have you seen anything spooky? And they were like, spooky? I was like, yeah. They were like, no. It's like, this hotel's haunted. And they were like, it is? <laughs> and I said, yeah, apparently, especially the 10th floor. And they were like, I'm new here. I just started. And I said, sorry. We made a joke about them quitting soon. And they were like, no, ghosts don't scare me. People scare me. I feel like that's, that's the moral of the story here, always. Speaking of ghosts, let's see if Smiley will hold the door shut. Okay. Which would be scary. Smiley, if you're here, let your presence be known. Nothing. Smiley, can you hold this door shut? No problem. It opens. Okay. That woman said that when she was reading a book, she heard someone else in her ear reading something else to her. So let me get out my one book I own. Final girl. That means you're both gonna die tonight and I will be the final girl. I can't. You, you I can't. have the EMF get reader by you. No, get out of here. You need to know. You're standing in my light. You need light to read? All right, I'm gonna try reading for a minute. See if anyone. You're gonna die tonight if you keep reading this. I don't know, what, there's some ghost that did that, that said that. I heard the ghost. <laughs> All right, we're done here. He was kicking the back of my chair, but he was doing it very, very subtly. And at first I thought my, I thought my back muscle was spasming a little bit. And then I realized like, that's not me. And it took all of three seconds to realize it must be you. Whoops. I was just stretching my leg. The witching hour isn't over. There's still four hours left of that. So if we see anything, if anything goes bump in the night, we will update you in the morning. Wish us luck. Hello, we made it. We live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I slept like a baby last night. I fell asleep on top of the sheets with my jeans on, and I slept like a baby. Yes, he did. So we found lots of ghosts during the night. Yeah. Tons of ghosts. So many ghosts. There were there was just a plethora of ghosts. Ask us a plethora. Wow, we're meant to be. Mm -hmm. Last night when we went to go explore the rest of the hotel. It was kind of cut short because a fight broke out in the hallway. We were literally about to walk out the door. This place reminds me a lot of our stay at the Holiday Inn Express, where the scariest things there are the people 
and close inspections of the ceiling. You just hear a lot of noises because people are up to like a lot of shit. What was spooky is that because of the black mold in the <laughs> ceiling, we basically roasted ourselves all night by avoiding using the AC. If you come here yourself, I don't know if anything spooky is gonna happen to you except you might be encountering some sus behavior otherwise. <laughs> Not haunted enough. <laughs> One ghost in high heels for three minutes? Black mold in the ceiling? I left with asbestos. It was as best oh, as they could do. Oh. oh, that's just someone in another room. What I will say is just because we don't know what caused it doesn't mean it's ghosts. The absence of an explanation is not in itself an explanation. Everything in Texas is either spicy or has cilantro in it. That is truly frightening. Are you deducing that from the one Mexican restaurant we went to? No, I'm de also deducing that from my time in Austin. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you the next time we go to a potentially haunted, but also maybe full of shit place. I left a note for housekeeping. What is that? It says, hey, bestie, there's black mold in these vents. <laughs> Bye. Whoa. I didn't think it's tap dance. Uh, yes, you did. Oh, my God. I'm not good. <laughs> wow, thanks. Thanks. You better watch yourself.